Legendary or ultra rare skins are the most expensive outfits you can buy in DVD, as they cost $15, basically the amount you pay for the game itself and double the cost of the majority of the chapters. For that reason, I think the Knight's ultra rare outfit is the least worth cosmetic that you can buy in the store. Don't get me wrong, it does look cool, but that is expected from an outfit that costs $15. Besides the visual design, I don't feel like this is an ultra rare cosmetic, and it just looks like it could be a normal, very rare set to me. One thing I love about legendary outfits is that they change who the character itself is and they become another thing or even an entirely different character from a license. In this case, the knight is still fundamentally the knight, only skeletal and with enchanted curses that glow all around him, which makes the skin stand out from far away, which could give you away your position easily compared to the default skin. There is no special sounds, no lobby animations, the sword is massive in first person, which can be annoying to some players, and since this outfit is a set, you cannot combine it with anything in the store. The problem is that since the devs spent their time making this outfit in the first place, the knight ended up not getting any cool rare or very rare cosmetics in the store. Was this skin worth losing potentially 3 outfits? I personally don't think so. There is a reason this outfit is an ultra rare, and that is because this skin does not use the body of the original knight, but instead it's a custom made body exclusive for the skin which is why Behavior puts a higher price on it. Since the difference is purely visual and you can't even see it in-game and the skins limits you a lot and actually gives in-game disadvantages, I don't think this skin is worth the price at all unless you really like the visual design. My fix to this cosmetic is to give the knight a different voice, or maybe even completely scratch his voice and add magic sounds to him instead. He has basically no mouth so laughing or screaming make little sense. Besides that, the only other major change I would make is make his basic attack have a different animation, in order to showcase that he is no longer alive but instead a reanimated skeleton. Sadako's ultra rare skin is another outfit I always had problems with since her release. A licensed character getting a legendary skin is something that is always cool because you can expect a more unique skin compared to the rest. With Sadako, they gave her the actual physical rotting Sadako that is stuck in the well, so you are literally playing with skeletal remains. My problem with this skin is that, just like with the knight, it's just Sadako but in a different way. It's not another character, so it could very well be a very rare cosmetic for her. There are no special effects, no lobby animations, no sounds, nothing about her is different besides the visual design. Her basic attack animation becomes green and more putrid, which is visually cool, but this just highlights a problem with set outfits. The weapon could have been used on default Sadako without any clipping issues. If you want the green attack, you're forced to buy the skin. And something I haven't seen many people say about the skin is the fact that I think it's an actual downgrade in coolness. When Sadako does her condemned animation, you no longer see her eyes, but instead, an empty eye socket. I find the Mori with this skin way less cool than her default cosmetic. It literally makes no sense with her ultra rare cosmetics as she loses her iconic stare. I totally expected a new Mori when I bought this skin, but I guess the technology is not there yet. Again, just like with the knight, the reason this skin is ultra rare is because they made an entirely new body for her. While this is an artistic feat and I have to give props to the artists and 3D modders at Behavior, I still don't think this cosmetic is worth $15. Maybe make her basic attack sound a little more gross. Give her gross, moist and slimy sound effects for her interactions, since she is literally rotting, and I think this skin would benefit greatly with a different Mori animation for her condemned sacrifices. This is probably the most disappointing ultra rare skin in the entire game. Part of the Attack on Titan collaboration, the Warhammer Titan skin for Spirit changes basically nothing and it's literally the same body type as Spirit. There is no voice change at all, no special sound effects as far as I'm aware and even if there are, they are so meaningless that I cannot notice the difference from the original one and the weapon is also very disappointing. Now. I have to admit that I haven't watched the anime at all, 
so I am completely unfamiliar with these characters, but before the release of these skins, I tried to look up what titans could be perfect for the spirit. The Warhammer makes sense because they have the power to make weapons and just like their name is, the weapon they are known the most is a hammer, so I fully expected the spirit to use the same hammer in her attack animations, but they just gave her shards of some material and that's it. There is nothing special about this skin besides the fact that it's a collaboration with Attack on Titan. The only cool thing this has is the fact that she is bald and instead she has smoke coming out of her head. But for some reason sometimes when I use this skin, my game lags for a second when entering the phase. There are no new animations and no special sound effects. The only worth thing this skin has is a banger theme that it includes when you use it. So if you think paying $15 for a cool lobby music is worth it, then this skin is for you. But really, it feels like you're paying $15 only because this is an Attack on Titan collab and not because it's actually worth the price, as playing with this skin feels just like playing with Bay Spirit and nothing more. I know this is going to be one of the most controversial placements in my video, but hear me out. I think the Mordeo is one of the most visually cool designs in the entire game, and also the character itself fits the Huntress a lot. Also, originally when this skin came out, the axe was extremely big, and it took a lot of space in the screen just like with the knight, so behavior changed it, and the axe is still pretty big, but it's nice visually to look at. What I also find extremely cool about this skin is that Anna is still inside the body of the Mordeo, and she even has a special texture that is impossible to see in-game and I love details like that. The problem is that when you have to compete with another skin that the Huntress has that costs the exact same price but unlike the Mordeo, it actually has impactful changes, then you have to ask yourself, is it really worth it? The only reason to buy this skin over the other one is if you either really love it visually and dislike the other skin or if you truly enjoy the Crypt TV show. I have no suggestions to improve this skin. I haven't watched any of the Crypt TV shows on YouTube, so I have no idea who or what the Mordeo is supposed to sound like. But I doubt Behavior can even change this skin without the license holder's permission. The Ferryman for me is another skin that suffers the same fate as the Mordeo. Don't get me wrong, visually it is absolutely fantastic and the design is very detailed, but again, if you only have $15 to spare, and knowing what the other skin that he has in the store is, is it really worth it? Unlike with the Mordeo, this skin can be absolutely saved by behavior. First of all, I think the weapon should sound slightly different to give it a special touch, and I think the most impactful change they could do is to completely redo the Blight's voice to include souls crying in agony. This is supposed to be the Ferryman Charon and we can find a lot of faces all around his body, so giving him a similar voice to the dredge would be amazing. If they ever find a fix to have custom power animations as well, I think it would be amazing for the skin to have green particle effects instead of the orange of the blight. They can also change his animations so it looks like he is rowing instead of dashing when using his power, but I don't know how that would look. All of these changes would make it so that you feel as if you're playing a completely different character, which I think should be the point when making ultra rare or legendary outfits. There is one more change I would like that I actually feel that behavior can implement very easily, but it's tied to the next skin as well. The Minotaur is one of the oldest ultra rare skins in the game and despite that, it still holds very strong visually as you are indeed playing a completely different character than the Oni. But just like the previous two skins in this list, considering that there is another ultra rare skin that includes sound changes, is this skin really worth the price when compared? The biggest problem with this skin is how the Minotaur still has a Japanese Kanabo when using the power highlighting the problem that ultra rares have with behavior not being able to change the powers visually. Changing this Kanabo to a Greek battle axe would be an amazing change. Now, something behavior can do is change the sound effects of the skins, and I think they should give the Minotaur bull sounds for everything he does. Imagine 
hearing this when the Minotaur activates his power. I think that change alone could make this skin one of the coolest skins in the entire game, and it does not require any change in power. Of course, changing his animations is also a must. A Greek mythological monster should not be cleaning his sword with Japanese techniques. And my final change that I think would give a lot of personality to this skin, and the change I would love to see the Ferryman also include, is a costume lobby theme for the Greek skin collection that would play when you have one of the skins equipped. There are a lot of survivors and even killer skins that belong to this collection, and they have already done this with the Attack on Titan, Resident Evil and Fairy Tale skin collections, so if any other gets a theme, I think it should be the Greek one. Krampus is another skin that is very old, just like the Minotaur, only this one has an added touch of being time limited for Christmas. Just like the previous skins in this list, there are no special effects, no sounds, no lobby music and no animations. However, this skin does completely change the Trapper visually to a completely different character and it has an animated back with a creature inside and some special white particles and I place it above the others not because of how unique it is but because the Trapper has no other skin that has to compete with it. Either way, I think out of all the skins in this list this one has the easiest fix by far. First of all, make it so that anytime you have this skin equipped, the Christmas lobby music plays. This music has already existed in the files and it's the song you're listening to right now. And that is the simplest thing that would make this screen increase in value. Now as for the rest, I think the weapon itself looks very basic for an ultra rare cosmetic and adding a bell sound effect would increase the value by a lot while keeping the Christmas theme on it. Finally, I think a metallic mass breathing effect does not belong with the Krampus, as he should sound more monstrous, just like the Minotaur. However, I have no idea what a Krampus should sound like, so I cannot give a good example for it. Now, as for things outside of music and sound effects, I think adding a monstrous stance to the Krampus, just like in his promotional artwork, would make the skin even more impactful. As of now, you might think that I'm constantly asking too much, but I think all of these changes are fair, especially knowing that other skins with the same cost do include all of these changes. This outfit is the closest thing we will have to Slenderman. Just like the Mordeo from the Huntress, the Luxi is another legendary licensed cosmetic part of the Crypt TV collection and one of the oldest legendaries in the game. Visually, it is very distinct and unique including a very cool and unique weapon, a massive pipe wrench that might look gigantic, but in-game, it's not that bad to be fair. In fact, I think this weapon is the coolest one that the Doctor has, as it also features dynamic lightning, something I haven't seen from any other cosmetic in the game. The long nails from this skin are also highlighted anytime you use your power, so in first person, you do see the skin a fair amount, since the illusions of the Doctor also appear all around the map. The skin suffers from the same problem all previous skins have. There is no lobby music, no special animations, no special voice, no weapon sounds and no in-game animations. I am not very familiar with the source material for this skin, so I won't be giving my ideas of what to change, but I can assure something, a gigantic pipe wrench does not sound like that when you hit someone, don't ask me how I know. From now on, all skins have something special about them compared to the rest. And let's start talking about another skin that, to be fair, disappointed me, but I think it can still hold up by itself. The Armor Titan skin is the second outfit introduced with the Attack on Titan collaboration. And just like the Spirit skin, this one features the same lobby music which increases its value. However, what is special about this skin is that not only it has special effects when the Oni enters Blood Fury by growing special crystals all around his body, but it also features a new sound effect for the sword, which is really distinct compared to the rest of cosmetics. As well as a completely changed sound effect when you walk with the skin, Instead of the clanking of armor you can hear when playing the Oni, 
You can hear how he walks barefoot. It can technically be a slight advantage since the sounds are quieter than the armor, but I don't think the difference is that big to be game changing. However, what disappointed me slightly is that he did not receive any different voices and that is a big missed opportunity because the armor titan does roar in the anime. <laughs> now of course, some of you might say that the roar is similar to the default only one so there is no point in changing it, but I digress. Any change, no matter how slight it is, helps with the value of a ultra rare cosmetic. Still, unlike the spirit cosmetic, the Armor Titan is one of the most visually unique skins and it does feel like you're playing a different character, unlike the aforementioned Warhammer Titan. My biggest problem is that you can completely forget all of that when the Armor Titan brings the Kanabo in order to attack reminding you of the severe limitation that DVD has regarding its cosmetics. My wish for this skin is for the Armor Titan to use its fists instead of a Kanabo in order to attack while in Blood Fury, which would require an animation change and no new models or assets for a Kanabo or stick made of crystals. It would also make it so that the Kanabo disappears from the back of the skin, making him look more naked and appropriate. After a very long consideration, I finally have to say something about this skin. The Chatterer is unique enough to be considered a worth skin, at least in my opinion. It is a completely different character to Pinhead and it also includes special voice effects with his teeth chattering that play whenever you're stunned or when you teleport. So all in all, even if I think that the skin is very overpriced, all of these positives do make the skin worthy of a legendary by my own personal ratings. There are two problems with the skin that I don't think will ever be fixed, however. My first problem is purely subjective, and it's based on the fact that since Pinhead has voice lines, you technically lose those amazing voices for teeth chattering. It is a very cool difference and it does make you feel like another character, but no voice signs can be a very big downside for a lot of players. However, it might help technically in a chase, since it's harder to track you when you teleport to the box. The second problem I have is with the weapon. The Xenobite has the worst weapons in the entire game since you cannot see them in first person for the vast majority of the match, and you cannot differentiate the default chains from the ones of the Chatterer. For that reason, I think this is one of the worst outfits that you can buy on the grand scale of things. But considering the fact that Pinhead only has one other cosmetic and there is a very high chance that these outfits are going to be the only ones he can ever have, it is fair to say that if you play the Xenobite, then the Chatterer is indeed a cool skin to have. Honestly, at the start of me ranking all ultra rare skins, I was going to rate this one as one of the lowest because this skin is literally just Trickster in a different outfit, not a completely different character like the Minotaur or the Krampus. However, this skin actually has things going on that do make it unique compared to the rest. First of all, for the first time ever, this skin introduced different voice lines exclusive for this cosmetic that can be heard anytime you stun the Trickster. <laughs> when you get found in a locker and when you perform a mori. All of these are incredible in my opinion and already give value to the outfit, but there is no lobby animations and no lobby music. Well actually not quite. There is a secret lobby animation with this skin that most players have never ever seen before. When you use this skin, instead of the wink he does with his other ones, the trickster does this gesture with his hand, which is the Korean heart that is also featured in one of his charms. The fact that the devs added this animation that most people will never see is kinda funny in my opinion. 
There is one change I would love to see that would make this skin so much better and I have no idea if they can implement it or not. What if instead of the glass shattering hit marker that appears every time the trickster hits you with a knife, that animation is replaced with the shape of a heart in pink with a more romantic sound. If they can go a mile further, how about replacing the knives with neon arrows? I think that would increase this skin's value a lot and also make it way more fun to use. Starting off with one of the most visually distinct skins, we have Hunk, a legendary outfit for the Legion that includes special sound effects, special lobby animations and a lobby theme. But also, unlike any other skin in the entire game, this outfit also includes a special running animation exclusive to Hunk and nobody else. All of this alone is already enough to make this skin worth it, as it does include a lot of unique things going for it. But there are still some things that prevent it from becoming the best skin. First of all, I really dislike how the voice is just Frank with a filter on top of it. There is already a barrier outfit for the Legion that does exactly that, as it applies a voice filter to Frank to make it sound robotic. The devs decided to apply a similar filter to Hunk but if you know the source material, you will know that this sounds very bad as Hunk is not supposed to be a teenager. What I also wish for is that with this skin, the terror radius completely changed to the background music you can hear now as it's literally perfect for DVD and it would fit like a glove to the character and also would make playing as Hunk completely different to playing as the Legion. This is one of the biggest missed opportunities in the entire game and I hope that one day they get the rights and the ability to use this song in the game. A skin that does what Hunk is but better and one of the most unique skins as well, Baba Yaga for the Huntress. Not only is this skin the very first of its kind by being the first ever outfit to add lobby animations and a completely different lobby music exclusive to this outfit's collection, but they also completely remade her voice to sound more like a hag and with it they completely revamped her lullaby to a different one. You heard me right, this skin includes a completely different lullaby compared to default Huntress and that's a lullaby you're going to hear constantly, so you're literally hearing value every time you play with Baba Yaga and since Huntress has no chase music yet, it basically feels like you're playing a different character that sounds more insane than the default Huntress. Every time you use your power, you can hear the different voice that Baba Yaga has. And sadly, the only slight problem I have with this skin is how the hatchets do not change visually, but honestly, just like with the next skin, they fit the character very well, as the weapon of this skin is also very simple and clean, unlike the Mordeo who has a bulkier axe. This skin is so good that ever since I bought it, it truly made me feel how bad the rest of Ultra Rares were in comparison, with the only skins that are able to compete being the Resident Evil collaborations. This skin set the standard so high, and again, this one was made before behavior proved that they could change the weapon attack sounds or that they could implement voice lines or different animations in game. And yet, this skin is so perfect that I personally don't think it needs further changes at all. And finally, as the number one, we have the skin with the most dramatic change in the entire game, to the point that it almost feels like you just bought a completely different killer altogether. We have the absolutely amazing and unique William Birkin skin for the Blight. Which one would you choose? An entirely different character with lobby animations, lobby music, new weapon sound effects and voice lines or a skin that just visually changes the Blight to a ferryman? And the fact that they added voice lines for this skin is unique and something I never thought they were able to do. This completely shattered my expectations and it's one of the best outfits as it makes you feel like a completely different character to the Blight. Even the injection makes lore sense with this outfit, 
The only problem I can see people have with this skin is that it suffers from Oni Syndrome. What is Oni Syndrome, you might ask? This skin puts the majority of outfits to shame. It's absolutely a new standard for skins, just like the Baba Yaga was back in the day, and it's the best cosmetic in DVD. You might disagree on my placements, but one thing is for sure, YouTube says that this video is the best for you, and there is no way to deny it. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.